Scientific research has shown that ugly people earn 12% less in the workplace than attractive people. That's a fact. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, that's the way it should be. Those hippo-faced leprechauns should thank their lucky stars that we even let them out in the daylight. I mean, God knows what would happen to a child if she stumbled upon one of those humpback, tarantula-titted half-wits in plain view. It could scar for life. I shudder at the thought. That's what you're thinking. And I have to say, shame on you. They do not deserve to be called hippo face. Sure, they deserve to earn less, because who can stand to be around them? I mean, maybe they work just as hard as you, maybe they're just as well educated as you, but they have one oblong nostril and the skin of a psoriasis zombie. And what kind of society would we be if we rewarded that? If they didn't want to blink at odd intervals and live a life heavy on mucus and low on eyebrows, then maybe they shouldn't have chosen the parents they did. Honestly, though, this is yet another sign that our rational brains have not won the battle. We're still a slave to the monkey part of our brain that says we should reward beautiful people for good genes. If we accept that we too often listen to our monkey instincts, maybe we could really make some changes because we'd understand our need for aggression and war, our need to be prejudiced, our need to kill off competing peoples, and then we could control it. As it stands, we tell ourselves we're purely logical, and then we end up justifying indiscriminate bombing, hiring beautiful douchebags, and masturbating on the metro. It doesn't have to be this way.